Today I'm going to be adding some new features to my solar generator. What, what my goal is, is to make it so you don't need to open the lid to use any of the features that I will be adding. So let's get with the build. I'm going to be adding this waterproof six, or excuse me, four receptacle plug-in. It's got some Bluetooth a couple Bluetooth chargers as well. I'm going to be adding this remote. And so I'll be adding these vents to let the box breathe. The inverter has its own fan, but with an enclosed box, the unit still needs to be able to expel, bring in air and expel air. So those are the features I'll be adding today. So for this step, I wanted to remove the inverter so I'd have more room to make my plunge cuts. With the two batteries, this power inverter is fairly heavy, and so I decided to utilize the lift table that we have. We very well decided to use this lift table out in the pavilion to keep the power station off the ground and to be able to use it at a more convenient height. Normally, we won't have to pick straight up on the inverter got the handy wheels of the toolbox and it's easy to move around with the wheels. There, that should make it much more convenient height to work on. This plug itself is uh, waterproof and so are the USB ports. However, I'm going to use some Loctite clear silicone water sealant just to make sure no water gets into the box.
I'm sure the silicon would hold it, but I'm going to put a couple screws in anyway, just to make sure. Okay, that part's done. I think that's going to work good. That'll plug into one of the ports on the inverter. So next I'm going to be installing the remote display. Let you know how much power you have and how much battery life you have. Okay. Okay. I'm going to install a couple, couple of these uh, vents so that the box can breathe and the fan on the inverter can exhaust heat. So I'm going to be using a hole saw for this process. Put the louvers down. Hopefully it fits right in there. It does. Again, I'll use uh, silicon around the outside edges here to secure this. Clean this up a little. Event number one. Second vent installed. So this is the four plug external waterproof device with the USB ports. It has an off on switch right here. You can see the light turned on. Okay, let's test out and see if it'll run the drill. Runs it. That's 
working perfect. You can see the vent on this side to dissipate heat. Here you can see the remote battery indicator display come on right there to show how much battery is left. And the other external vent. Everything worked good and it's getting a little nicer as we go. There'll probably be one more video to, I'm gonna install some lights and a shut off for the battery and that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching.